Good afternoon. I want to talk today about hypothermia and how you prevent it. Your first line of defense on hypothermia is just plain staying dry. That's the main thing. Having a campfire, if you're going to spend the night, is ideal. Uh, that's the only way that I know to, to uh, get through a main night up here. But the main thing about hypothermia that I think a lot of people don't realize is you lose the ability to use your hands. Uh, without your hands, you can't gather firewood. Uh, if your feet get cold, you can't walk. You have to protect your feet. You have to protect your hands. If you notice in some of my other videos, I have lots and lots of gloves. I have hand warmers, stuff like that. It's basically to protect my hands at all times. They're, they're as important, they're more important than an ax or a saw. You can't run any of these tools if your hands are frostbitten or if you can't use your hands. So keep that in mind when you're out in the outdoors and, and you know, if you get too cold, take time, build a fire. Here's a nice one. This is a Mylar blanket. Put this in your backpack. If you can tell, it's fluorescent orange. This is a tarp. This is not a dollar Mylar blanket from the dollar store. This cost $12 at uh, Home Depot. Well worth it. It's five feet by six feet. The back of my neck is as hot as my face is from this fire. Fire comes in, hits the blanket, reflects back onto me. This is a toasty, toasty place to spend the night. And if you have a system like this in place and in your bag, you will not get hypothermia. That's just no way around it. You're, I'm 80 degrees, 80 degrees. So if you have this kind of system in your backpack with you at all times, it's probably the best defense against hypothermia that you can put together. You've got shelter, you've got fire. In my case, I got a hot coffee, but I do have tea bags, stuff like that. And I got a raging campfire in front of me that ensures that I will be warm. I have picked a spot where there's lots of blowdowns, so I have lots of firewood for my campfire to get warm, and then I can proceed on to my uh, pickup truck or snowmobile and get me out of the woods. But I really wanted to stress was keeping your hands warm. Keeping your hands warm and keeping your feet warm. Uh, probably some of the best, best advice that uh, someone could give. So... Thank you for coming along and I will see you on the next one.